it was a kind of training project to gain experience and work out some details. And to be honest, it was a good experience. So I started with the rough cutting of the boards with the jigsaw and trimmed the bark edge with the traxa. After getting the clean side of the jointer, I pass everything through the planer till I get a clean side. Instead of gluing, I cut all of the boards on the rails. It gave me a chance to avoid most of the defects. Only now, having chosen the clean part of the bar, I can glue them together. On this shot, I'm using my homemade clamps for pressing. And if you are interested in how to build them, just let me know in the comments. Now once again I pass everything to the planer and glue the place to the width I need. This is my first experience with voice acting. And since I am from Ukraine, I'm not speaking in English usually. So sorry if I tell something wrong. So now I'm marking my place language and cut them off holding them on top of each other. It makes possible to get just identical length of the parts and I do the same with the top and bottom piece and the sides. Now I'm cutting in 45 degree and clean side I left from the previous cut just allows me to position my fans much more easy and accurate. Also I made the groove for the drawer slider because I won't be able to make it after assembly. This chamfer was easier to make on the table saw, but I just need to move my dust collector away, so I made it with the track saw. Now when the groove for the back panel is done, I'm ready for assembly. And for that I'm using a very simple way with the tape. At first I line up all of the parts and fasten them with the tape. Then turn everything over, apply the glue, put the back wall in and ready to close the body. Also I fasten the free end with the tape and let it dry. So now I move to the legs, and the principle here is just the same as the assembling of the body of the cabinet. Only difference is the size. Here I'm just cutting the door language and after that I place them next to each other and mark the width.
and taking into account the hinges and the gap between the drawers, I cut off the axis. Now time for the drawer. Here everything is just as simple. I cut a groove for the bottom and after raising the blade I cut off the axis from the back wall piece. After that I make a 45 degree cut and assemble everything just in the same way as I do before. Now I'll make a slider for the drawers. For that I'm using large wood. I pass everything through the router with a dovetail cutter bit and cut the axis on a circular saw. Test fit and now I can measure the distance between the slider and the top of the cabinet. I put just a 2mm smaller distance between the router bit and the fence. And now I make a pass. You can see the router table I use is not very comfortable and convenient. The next video will be about making a new router table. You definitely need to subscribe to Don't Miss It. Once the door in place, I can mark and cut the axis from the slider. Now I put reinforcement for all of the angles and for that I'm using device you can see on this shot and router with a dovetail cutter. I repeat this process with all the corners and now I can glue on the dazzles which I make in the same way as a slider. Since this is a project for the workshop, I didn't approach standard very demandingly. I rust sand with 80 grit, then 120 and finish everything up with a 150 grit. Better look unhappy, but it's time for finishing. Finishing I'm using American wood oil in the two layers.
Here I'm adding a little spacer, which will allow me to get a nice even gap between the legs and the body. So after positioning, I can fasten them together. Time to attach the doors. And here I'm using piano hinges. To begin with, I fasten them to the doors. After that, I put a spacer to the bottom of the cabinet and position the top of the hinge. After that, I put one screw in the top, position the bottom piece and screw everything on. I also glue on the magnet, so the doors won't be opened by their own. It is not racing all plain or stand. Of course, I can make it with less time and material spent. But the goal was work out the details and density of the legs, which I will use in my future woodworking project. And you know what to do not to miss them.